So what does it feel like to just think about college and, you know, realize that that part of your life is over and you have to move on? Because you're still in that transitioning stage, right? Sort of. Uh, you know, I've been out for over two years now, so college does feel far away. But I'm also living and working with all the people that I lived with and worked with in college. So in a sense, we never really let it go. Um, It is a weird thing, though, where I, because sometimes I wonder if, like, you know, like, certain things will come to an end. It's just hard. It's like these things, you know, and every time we're surprised by it. And so I think we're always underprepared. I know, and that's a good thing. I think it's great that our expectations are always exceeded. Um, but, yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, 5,000 people follow me on Twitter. Like, there's 5,000 people that, that care what I tweet, you know? I'm, like, I'm just, like, a normal person, like all of us. Like, I think Brian Holden has, like, 30,000 Twitter followers. Like, you I know, mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's crazy. It's insane. But it's um, cool followers. at the same time. It's like it's a definite – we're lucky. We're really lucky. But it is interesting because I think then people meet us and they're surprised that, that we're real. D like, you know what I mean? No, exactly. And that we're also like we live very normal, borderline boring lives, you know? Like, <laughs> it's just, you know, we wake up. We, like, we do menial tasks. Like, I still have to, like, do laundry and, and grocery shop and, like, you know, do boring, real real human stuff. I'm not exempt from that in any way. But people forget that. It's so hard to just, you know, take someone famous, someone you idolize, and just forget that they're human, forget that they're other people, you know, like, they're normal people. That's why, mm -hmm. you know, I've always been very just chill when I meet celebrities or anyone, you know, somewhat famous. Because they're all normal people. That's the mm -hmm. way I see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, there are a lot of rumors going around about you and the rest of the Star Kids. Is that weird for you guys to read and see? When you say rumors, like just rumors about like us, in like our your personal, personal lives. lives. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Um, I don't really uh, like read that stuff. Like, I don't really troll for that stuff or anything, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't You're know what's being said about me. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know what's being said about me. Um, you could enlighten me. But, um, uh, well, the main one going around about you is that you and Darren used to date. I think, actually, I think your sister sent someone, I, I don't know, I came across this because I looked the, like, I looked up your tag on Tumblr, and it was just, like, all the posts that were tagged with your name, and there was mm -hmm. one that your sister messaged I think one of your fan tumblers saying that you guys never dated and you're just really, really close friends. Yeah. 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 Those things are funny. It's funny that people like pull together those, um, ideas about us. Um, sometimes like every once in a while, cause like my sister will, my sister trolls it a lot and we've got other friends who will troll it. And so sometimes they'll bring to our attention, these stories that the fans have pulled together. And it is always funny to us to see, the perception of what the fans think our like friend dynamic is like it's really funny to see what every what the fans perceive everyone's kind of like you know a personality within the group to be and like how different you know it is from from the reality um so yeah I guess that's kind of weird but again like I don't follow it that much so um, I think that's a good thing though not following yeah. the rumors keeps you sane. Yeah, 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 yeah. You okay. know, it's like I would never want bad rumors to float around about me or any of us, you know. Um, but for the I most part, I think the fans just have fun, like, pairing us up and imagining what, what it would be like if so-and-so dated so-and-so or if so-and-so was roommates with so-and-so, you know, things like that. I think that's honestly the extent of it. Maybe it's because I haven't been in the fandom as long as other people, but I don't remember, like, any other dating rumors aside from you and Darren, which is just, like, I see all the pictures, and there's always pictures of you guys hugging, like, all of you guys hugging each other, so it's, like... Yeah, we're a very much a group of people. Like, it looks like we... Any of us could 
you could find a picture to justify any of us dating anyone else, you know? It's just, that's just how we, we're, we're all very cuddly. <laughs> that's awesome, though. That's the best kind of friend you can have. Yeah, we're goofs. We have fun. So what are you working on right now? Uh, me personally? Yes, you personally. I'm working on growing tomatoes <laughs> and uh, and and learning how to be more peaceful. Um, no, but seriously, I I don't know what I, this summer. I just like you know I I'm always working for Star Kids, so there's little things I'm always doing. Right now, the big one is um, we are doing a, a charity event at the end of the summer, which you'll hear about soon. Is we're gonna announce um, just like a very kind of sort of casual cabaret type thing. Um, but we just really felt the need to like pull together something and use the resources and use this m massive fan base in order to give back in some way. So yeah. that I'm kind of um, like, I'm doing a lot of organizing for that right now. But as far as like an actual real artistic project, I, I'm not really working on anything there. There is a play that I'm about that, that uh, I'm going to be begin working on soon. Um, writing wise that I write but I kind of took the past couple months and just it wasn't justified but I just felt the overwhelming need to just chill you know to to work and it, I'm always working for Star Kid, but to stop to let go of my anxiety that because I'm like kind of a workaholic so I have this anxiety where I should always be doing something I should always be like trying to further my career and I have been for six years so in career mindset you know I went to school and was intensively studying this thing and then left school and it's like a hustle to try to you know make a life out of it and I just it hit me one day that I'd spent six years just focused on that part of me and not focused on just being a human like I didn't I forgot that what I what I liked like what I enjoy so yeah so I have been gardening riding a bike <laughs> painting a little bit you know what I mean like doing things just for me so that's what I've been working on learning how to be peaceful because I'm not good at being peaceful and I think that that's a skill set that I could develop and I, I sometimes I wonder I go like are we holding on to college is that like what we're doing but I also think that I don't think it's that because I don't feel anything like the person I was in college I've you know I've just learned so much and things have changed um, in fact, I feel more confused now than I did in college for certain, but at the same time, more peaceful and, uh, more sure of, of myself, you know, I feel more confused about life or confused about what I want to do, but very much more certain about who I am. Um, but I do think it's, it's weird cause like. You wonder, you know, I look around at, at these people that are my friends from college, and you do wonder, like, how many of them are are, light, are these lifetime friends, or is this also just a phase that we've continued post-college? Um, but to be honest, with a lot of them, I do think that they're lifetime friends. You know, we may not always work together, and I think our lives are going to take different paths for certain, but I do, like, imagine, you know, they're... It's like they love to – everyone loves to tease me, but I love imagining us in, like, 10 years when we've got families, you know? Like, I think that that will be really fun to see, like, the guys be dads. That's my big thing. They, they'll, <laughs> if they watch this, they'll laugh because um, they always tease me, but I just, like, love the idea of seeing them as dads. <laughs> uh, no, I think that sounds adorable. I can just see it, like, a big Star Kid family reunion 10 years from now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it'll be fun, and it'll be, it's like, you imagine it as almost this commercial of, like, where are they now? You know, we love to laugh about, like, where everyone ends up, like, once, you know, it all dissolves, and they're just like, Brian's on a boat in the middle of the ocean, sailing the world, like, Julia owns an organic restaurant with a school attached to it where she mentors kids, and, like, yeah, it's, like, that kind of thing. I No, but, I mean, I see what you're saying, though. Parents are famous, and <laughs> I think I see what you mean, though, because you never know. You guys have all your own projects and everyone's career is taking off in like all these different directions, you know. So it's like, who knows what's going to happen 10 years from now? Who knows who 
we'll be doing what? Two years from now. Two years from now. You know I mean, what I mean? A year from now. Like a year my... ago, it's like, would you have imagined everything that's happening to all of you guys right now? Just a year ago. No, I think about this. A year ago, Darren wasn't on Glee. I know. I was, I yeah. remember because a year ago was when I found you guys. And uh-huh. I remember one of my reporters used to live in LA and she moved to New York for college. And my friend Claire was like, oh, you should check out Darren Chris. He's really good. And I was like, okay, whatever. And I went on his Twitter and I was like, uh, I don't know. And I that, that was my initial reaction to Darren. And then yeah. I found out about a very Potter musical. And Harry Potter was my childhood. So I was like, okay, I have to watch this. And I watched yeah. actually everything in like two days. And then I was yeah. like, Natasha, go interview him. And this was right when she was leaving for college. So she couldn't go. And then like two days later, he's famous. So <laughs> it, was, yeah. it was very, it all happened really fast. Yeah. Yeah, a lot. It's it's uh, that's just kind of like the, how life has been for a lot of us. You know what I mean? Like I was at this time last year, I knew that I was going to leave New York. But for the most part, about a year ago, I was like even the prospect of like working full time for Star Kid and living here in Chicago with all of them seemed so far off. Like I was in such a different mindset and like things just happen really fast, you know, like. I got a call to move to Chicago, and two months later, I was packing bags. Like, that's how quickly things change, you know? Yeah. Um, With Darren, it's, like, even, you know, crazier. He really did have this kind of, like – and not to say say that he hadn't been working hard because he had been working hard, but he definitely had this, like, tremendous overnight kind of life change, you know? He exploded. Like, I've never seen anyone – Yeah, quite literally overnight. Like, everything changed for him. So. It's but let's get to back to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, hold on. Okay, so now you guys have been together for a really long time now, and you've got to meet a lot of fans in, you know, a lot of different venues and different events and everything. What's it like mm-hmm. for you guys, or for you, to encounter the type of fans who will freak out and start crying? And, you know, does it surprise you to see people that really want to meet you and get a picture with you and get your autograph and everything? Yeah, it does. See, I love meeting the fans. That's like, it's it's cool that that's a part of this whole gig. Like, it's, that's kind of neat. It is funny when you meet the people that are like shaking or crying or nervous. And it's almost like I wish, I want them to not be nervous so that I can like talk to them because I like actually talking and hearing people's stories. Um, uh, yeah, but I will admit like when I went to, infinitus last year at that time people didn't really uh like recognize me or know me as well because in the shows you know i'm a small part in the the harry potter shows and uh and it it doesn't look like me in actually any of the shows you know what i mean like i don't look anything like the characters in the crazy costumes they put me in so when i was down there last year um and at that and last year's convention was much calmer than leaky con was Oh, Leaky Con was insane. It's like we're constantly amazed by the fan action. And Leaky Con specifically, uh, not only was the fan reaction incredible, but I went to Leaky Con thinking it would be similar to Infinitus where no one really recognized me. And I personally was surprised in that people did recognize me. You know what I mean? I'll, which is a great thing. Um, but it was, it did catch me by surprise. And there were a couple times where I did get just overwhelmed by it. You know what I mean? Where I was just like trying to go to the bathroom and you can't go to the bathroom because like everyone's stopping you. And it's so cool to get to have that opportunity. Like I'm so like thankful for it and it's really fun. So I never would want people to think that they're like a nuisance or bothering, you know what I mean? A bother. Um, but it is overwhelming because you feel like, for me, it's always that I want to give everyone individual attention. Like, I want to meet everyone. And it's overwhelming at the prospect, though, of connecting and meeting 3,000 people. You know, when you realize that task at hand, you just go, oh, my gosh, that's impossible. I have two hours to meet 3,000 people. This is never going to, you know, you go, how is this going to happen? Um, but it's, so, yeah, it is bizarre. You know, 